You are under arrest for the case of kidnap. Calm down. What's going on here? Eva! Rex! Is this the same person you've been telling me about or her sister? She's my wife. The kidnapper. Eva! You're married? I just told you she's my wife. Her name is not Eva. Her name is Viva. What in heaven's name is going on here? What is this Eva, Viva? What is it with you and Va? Rex, this is the same woman I've been telling you about. I proposed to you, did I? Speak! Valletta. How dare you. So you finally gave me up to all I did for you. You are the worst in my life. Oh, Viva, stop! We need to stop already. What? We need to stop. Put an end to this game. The world needs to know that the original Evans is not the one in the prison. You are the original Evans. They need to know that original Evans is a woman. I cannot withstand the helpless cry of the throat from the prison of injustice. Have a heart of a mother. You're a woman. A mother with two children. Stop already. I asked you a question. Are you married? Yes, she is. With two children. For Rex. This is no time for questions. What next? Move. 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 No, no, you're under arrest. Move. Okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, let me go, okay? Make sure you supervise this work properly, okay? Test it well before you leave, all right? The car is over there. Okay. All right, thank you. Your car, yes. 
Oh, okay. I'll see you. Listen, this guy is not an ordinary guy. He's even from every other guy. As a matter of fact, he's Moses. Maybe you need to say he's Moses. is quite catchy. Sasha, this was supposed to be a girl's day out. Yes, I know. But a new catch is a new catch. Oh, and you know what the sound? A new catch makes you wet it. You always do this. Are you coming in with me or not? Because I wouldn't let any bitch take my man away from me. You heard me. Oh, oh okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll join you. Just you know go. What? Really? Yeah. So why did you ask me to come out in the first place? Uh -huh. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. Um, hey, Viva. Are you okay? Viva, what is wrong with you? I mean, you've been so quiet like the Dead Sea, waiting to swallow up some spray. Viva! You know what, baby? I'm no longer comfortable with the way your friend is staring at her. Welcome, Mom. I have to go now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I should be the one to excuse you, though, okay? Um, Viv! <laughs> attention of whoever the car owner is, but all to no avail. That's all you can do? Please, I am sorry for the inconvenience. Please. How was your sorry remove this obstruction? Huh? Is this my bedroom I should sleep here? Look, you better go keep looking for him before I do something crazy. Yes, please. I'm sorry. This fool, non-entity. What the hell? Rubbish! not hear of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rex, I see you've done a lot for yourself. This is, this is awesome. Really, really beautiful. You must have spent a lot here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm happy for you. Thank you. So, you know, you asked me um, how the whole thing started with my wife. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the last time we spoke, right? Mm -hmm. I wasn't this big. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, after we got married, mm -hmm. my wife demanded that I quit my babbing job. I used to be a dope barber. You know? <laughs> I can see it in your haircut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which I did, you know, just to bring peace and um, love at home, uh -huh. you know. But then, after two years, I couldn't cope with the bottom of being a house husband. So I pleaded with my wife to, you know, allow me go into um, information technology to become a computer programmer. So she accepted. But then, on the note that I have to work from home, that condition wasn't really cool to me because I know as an information technologist, I have to go out there to sort for jobs, you know, go to companies and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but then, like I said, for peace to reign, I grabbed that opportunity of um, the condition of, you know, me working from home. So, I got that going with the help of Valletta, you know. I send her out if need be, if I have to meet clients, if there's something I need to give to clients and, and stuff like that. So, I kept it going like that. But the thing is, my wife cut me off completely from my friends. I don't have friends visiting me here. I don't have family. I don't have cousins. I don't have... <laughs> you are admiring what you say, right? I'm living large and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's just not easy, truly, for me. I understand the reason she did that, you know, because of the way we met. I used to be... A gigolo, bro. <laughs> so I don't know if she thinks me going out there is to go practice oh, gigolo and Rex, stuff. Please, please, cut me off some sleeves, please. Really? <laughs> you say something that amuses me. You talk about you used to be. You don't used to. You used to be a professional. Remember? <laughs> anyway. Hmm. I used to be, a, yeah, I used to mean that's, that's way back. Way back? Yeah. <laughs> um, don't say you used to be a gigolo. Because I still see it in your eyes. <laughs> hey, come on. That's you being silly. Uh. <laughs> I'm a responsible married man now with kids, so gigolo oh, stuff is way back. <laughs> gigolo over. Oh, yes, it's over. Uh, husband. House, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just talking. Uh, mm, well, um, rich women and their paranoia. Don't want to say. So seven years, seven whole years is not enough for her to believe in you, respect you, love you. Most importantly, trust you. This whole thing sounds like a joke. Well, the most important thing is that you succeeded in achieving your dreams, and that is becoming a computer programmer, which is what brings me in. Look, Rex, I'm about to set up the largest IT firm in the state. Really? Yes, really. So I'm beginning to wonder how you were going to do that from home. 
Well, that, that is not a problem. Like I said, I have, I have Valletta. Oh, right? but, 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 by the way, who's Valletta? The, the maid, um, the lady you saw outside. Oh, the maid? Yes, yes. I mean, she's a maid? Yeah. Yes, she's a maid, but let's forget about that for now. What I'm trying to say is... That's my wife. What about your wife? You have to help me now. How? Come and we say hi. I like no, to no, meet no, you. No, 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 no. It's against. I just told you my wife doesn't allow me to have friends. Please, I don't want to have. How about just one? No. I don't have.
Hey, Now the owner of this car, she said that this car blocked her car. That's why she used chain and chained it too. Security. How could I have blocked her when my car is faulty? Or didn't you see what I packed? Oh God, I saw it. I saw it. But you know, if you tell some people, they will not listen. They will not listen. Instead, they will insult you. But you were here. Um, Couldn't you have stopped her? Oh God, I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She even used force. Force! So where is she? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're the security here. Okay, I don't know. But Oga, let me be truthful here. I pity that woman. I pity the hey, woman. She waited problem. for a very long time. Can you just go in and check for me, please? No problem, I will. Blame it on my faulty car. such a house, how many rounds would make your satisfaction? Oh my goodness. I mean, it's not when I have a super charger like you in bed. It's very hard for me to say no or resist you. I've never been hit this hot before. Oh my God. The energy. Where did you get this energy from? More is in and you shouldn't mess with me. And you know what? You met me at the very right time of my life. This is a good business to start. Really? <laughs> you know, sex is good business. As a matter of fact, sex is good for people who understand that life is too short. <laughs> you know, you are everything I need in a man. As a matter of fact, you are my bedroom idol. Come give me some more, please. You don't have to beg for it. I'm always on a call. <laughs> I'm coming. Let me wash up the audio. Okay. One minute. 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Come here. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Hmm. 
with the attitude you displayed yesterday. Am I missing something? Are you not irritated by your own lifestyle, Miss Sasha Okeji? Are you not irritated? How? I mean, why should I be irritated? Simply because I'm taking my own pound of flesh? Just because I am using a handsome guys and dumping them? Just the same way they used and dumped me? And then finally ended up in that stupid marriage with that ugly thing that caused himself my husband. I do not even want to remember it. Now you tell me, what is wrong? What is irritating about me having fun? Because as long as I am concerned, baby girl, I am having fun. Fun. And that's what period. <laughs> fun. <laughs> so you think sleeping around with everything in pants is fun? wrong with you and besides i thought you said your husband and baby are coming to join you soon what happened to that what? why don't you just maybe take a break and save some good energy for your husband what's bringing energy here i mean you think my husband can finish a whole this is a whole meal hello if i should give my husband half of me he will be six feet by now are you kidding me please and that's my baby girl my baby is doing absolutely and marvelously fine not until the whole handsome dude left are gone. She's fine. Mm -hmm. What? <sighs> Hello? <laughs> okay, so, you know what? You're clearly insane, Sasha. Point is, you don't get it, do you? Don't you know that no man can be as handsome as your husband, or even more handsome than your husband, no man, as long as you are married. Don't you get it? God, I'm, I'm truly, really disgusted on your behalf already. Really? I am. Really? I am. I see. In other words, you are now the perfect wife in the market, right? <laughs> yeah, I may not be so perfect, but guess what? One thing I know is I will never, ever, Sasha, cheat on my husband. You know what? I never left my office to yours to come get some marriage tutorials from you. You know I am not going to do that bullshit. Whatever. So I'm going straight to the point. Listen, babes, guess what? I met this handsome guy today on my way to work. He's so cute. His name is as cute as he looks. Ah! Rikishima! Ah! Rubber! Rubber! Ooh, Lucifer, I bind you. I bind you, Satan. You daughter of Lucifer. Mm, I bind you. Are you done? I knew I had a smart friend. But trust me, I never knew you had some symbol of money, Gio, mm -hmm. running through your thing. But that's by the way, as I was saying, the guy is tall, he's white, cute, he's muscular. Oh, Sasha, let me work! I want to work! Come on. But you cannot work without a good day. I mean, who does that? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would like it. I know my friends. Rubbish. Do you remember the direction my friend gave you? Yes, sir. Perfect. Take this hard drive to him, eh? Stay there till he copies everything and bring it back. All right, sir. Okay.
Maeve, I saw your friend today. It was really, really, really embarrassing. Who? And what was embarrassing? I saw Sasha today. The way she was chasing after a guy who came to drop the this kid in school was so embarrassing in broad daylight. Babe, Sasha is my colleague, not my friend. But I know you're closer to her than any other of your colleagues. So, should I cut off my official duties with her or cut off her head just because you saw her chasing a man? No, I didn't say that. I'm only, you know, they say, show me your friend and I will tell oh, you. Oh, okay! Tell me, tell me who I am. What? What? A cheater? A manhunter? A promiscuous wife? Me. A slip around? No, 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 tell me. Talk to me direct. I, I did not say that. I'm only telling you to be careful. All right? I didn't say you're a cheater or, or, or you sleep around. Just be careful. That, that's all. I'm just saying, just be careful, because people might be saying the same thing. good and yours. As usual, I dreamt about you all through the night. I can understand. And how's my baby, Chema? Missing you. She has been crying. I'm down. Somebody just helping me to calm her down. Mm -hmm. I can understand. I can't wait for you both to come and stay with me. But very soon, you will be with me. Maybe you said three months. And three months has come and gone. Yet nothing is happening. What's going on? Baby, you, don't, you will not believe it. I am telling you the gospel truth. Since I started this job for three months now, I have not been paid any salary. Even the car and the house they promised me is far-fetched. I'm not gotten anything at all. Okay, it's fine. I hope you're good. I told you how I've been borrowing to send you the little money I've been giving you at the square. Um, just don't lose hope. I believe God will soon do that miracle we've been expecting. Amen. They will give you all those things they promised you on your appointment day. Amen. 
Thank you, my love. I'm sorry, baby, I have to call you back. My boss just walked in. Okay, okay. I agree to your boss for me. Shut up! Shut up! You are a spy for kidnappers! I am not one either! You are still talking? You are still talking! Huh? Hey, hey, hey. What is going on here? So we caught this spy trailing you while you were jogging. I wasn't trailing you! Shut I up! Don't tell me to shut up! I don't want to be afraid and that's it! How many times have I warned you both not to follow me unofficially? Can you both just take your hands off? So? Now, take your hands off. Get your hands off me, you retarded set of meat twits. The next time this happens, both of you will be fired. You hear me? You know, when to when to come to my rescue. Yeah, thank you very much. And I want to rush to the station to get um kerosene. You know, gas doesn't give sign before it is gave the owner. I was cooking before the thing finished. So let me just rush to the station and get kerosene. Oh, oh, and, um, sorry about that. But I told you, whenever you have this kind of important need, just let me know. Let me know. Uh, not this kind of need though. Gas is very expensive now. 
and within this short period of time, you bought me like four times. Am I so complaining? I cannot keep coming to you. You're not complaining, but I have conscience. I'm a human being. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is 5,000, eh? Forget about kerosene, okay? Just go and fill your gas. I don't know how to thank you. What kind of angel in human form are you? Yeah? Yeah? Are you not tired of helping me? Tired, girl. Am I complaining? Go and feed the gas. Baby seems to be hungry. Mama. Okay, um, let me rush. Uh, baby, I'm coming here. Yeah? <laughs> go, 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 go. Good day, son. Yeah, good day. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, is Rex in? I came to see him. Oh, no. He left a moment ago to get his children from school. Uh, all right. Uh, can I just drive in and wait for him? Um, sorry, sir. I'll be sacked if I let you do so. You see, my madam doesn't allow Sir Rex to bring his friends home. If I let you in, I'll be blame on it. So please, I don't mean to be rude or disrespectful. It's all right. I'll rather just wait here. Here? Yes, here. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, sir. In all honesty, I must applaud you for your extraordinary patience, tolerance, and endurance. I'm so happy the way you respect your wife. Not all men would respect their wife the way you do and heed to her instructions to the letter. You're a good man. <laughs> She's the breadwinner of the family, so I just had to do what I have to do. I mean, you wake up every day by 4 a.m. You clean, cook, get your children ready for school. Do other house chores. Before you know it, the school dismissed. Then you will resume another marathon of home chores. God will bless you beyond your expectations. I'm just, I'm just trying to balance the, the family. She's making money, so I should take care of the, the house chores. Like I have always said, one day I will share a big secret with you. Oh, Velata, you've always been saying that, but you never do. Fashion, just one day. It's a secret no ear should hear. Okay. Um, I'll wait for the D-Day. Uh, for now, I have to rush back to the chores. My wife will send me back. That's all right. But all the same, thanks for the compliment. Thank you. You're welcome. My sister actually went out with her. She said I should watch her show for her. She went out? Yeah. Is it the house? Ah. Uh, oh, here yeah, they come. Why is she putting on another <laughs> fine clothes? Is she we we? <laughs> Baby, <laughs> what happened? It's like you forgot that today is your daughter's birthday. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey yeah, you took my daughter out. You even bought her cheese ball. <laughs> yeah, my princess, them, thank you very much. Eh? God bless you. Talk to you. Please? Please, I have something important to say to you. Okay, it's about our first meeting, okay? I know I was nasty. I think I overreacted. Look, I should apologize to you. I'm sorry, that's not who I am. Could you please whine so you could hear me? Huh? Look, 
I'm sorry, okay? Just pardon my behavior. I, I, that's not me. I see we keep crossing paths, okay? That's the universe working, okay? I know I should apologize. Come on, don't! Listen to me. I am sorry, okay? That's not... Hey! I... What does he think he is? I don't even want you, man. I don't. I just want to apologize. The hell? just begun. I will be naming this one Operation Ride or Die. to resign as my driver. Um, madam, we did not misuse that money. I used that money very well. You see, uh, 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 when uh, you settled me, my wife, my wife is a graduate, first class for that matter. And after six years of graduation, there is no work. So really, you settled me now. She got a job, so we decided to use that money to facilitate that, that job. You know, this federal government, well, once they give you, they will ask you to work for three or four months before they will start paying you. So we are hopeful. 
that at the end of four months now she will receive her first salary and we will start to enjoy. Please, ma'am. So you mean instead of using the money I gave to you to settle yourself as head of the family, you use it to look for a job for your wife. Ma'am, I'm begging the name of God, please. <laughs> so because I have a good heart, that is why you lied to me that you are relocating to Abuja. Eh? So you use the money to go and look for a white elephant job for your wife instead of settling yourself. Ah. Madam, I did not lie to you. Everything I said, they are supposed to happen the way I told you, but my wife said we oh, should hold on so that she will receive her first and then we we'll move over to Abuja with her instead of going there to start managing. Eh? Madam, please, I'm begging the number one. Just help me. Just small money, small money. Let me, you can you help me and buy the medicine for my baby? I'm begging you, Biko. Biko. Is it not over four months you resigned as my driver? Hmm? Madam, it's over four months. That's the, the point I'm trying to make here. They said after four months that she will receive her first hour and, and will move. Madam, I cannot come and lie to you now. I've served you for years. You know me very well. Huh? You are the only person I can come to. Huh? Because I am. No way. Ma? The only thing I can do for you now is to employ you as my driver. Hmm? Yes. That's the only thing I can do for you. I mean, you are not helping me. How can I be driving you with my baby? You can send the baby to your wife. Eh? I am done with this discussion. He is such an important figure a senior special assistant to the governor. Yet he never weighed his power the day I chained his car. Wow. He's so gentle and humble. And moreover, it wasn't even his fault that his car broke down on that fateful day. There must be a reason why fate keeps bringing me across him. Yes. I owe him all the apologies in the world. And I must find a way to do so at all cost. Babe. I don't know, but this has been bothering me. There's this old time um, friend of mine that's been asking me where I live. And I've been like being corny on the answer. I've been giving him excuses. So, but I'm becoming uncomfortable because... You better be comfortable. Did you forget? We already agreed on this. I mean, do you want to take this marriage? Oh, baby, but check this thing out now. Since we... Since we got married, I have never accepted a friend or rather nobody has ever visited me here unlike your friend Sasha that comes around I was around not a gigolo so I never had toxic friends I brought you out of that mess and gave you this life that you live in now be grateful and heed my bidding do not forget again. This was our agreement before we got married. Oh, baby, you didn't have to be rubbing it on my face. Besides, this person was never a jiggle. It's just a friend. Just a friend. I am done with this conversation. Good night. <laughs> Bushmeat set up in the hunter. Oh, oh girl, nobody is a hunter or a bushmeat here. This is just an area you know better than me. Okay, uh -huh. look. I think I owe him an apology. Excuse me? You owe a man an apology. Sweetheart, you owe nobody an apology. 
As a matter of fact, he should be grateful for having you. You are a queen. A smart one at that. Listen, it's very simple. This is the rule. It's just like lots of fishes in the ocean. That same way lots of men are, are on earth. All you have to do is go to the ocean, cook up a fish, use it for some papers, some barbecue, eat it, throw it away the bone in the bin, and that's it. You go back and get another fish. Keep hooking them for the rest of your life. That's it. What are you talking about? You know what, Sasha? I do not need your advice anymore. Oh, please, honey. Thank you for coming. Oh, come on, darling. I know you picked up my advice. As a matter of fact, I know you're going to try that. Come on. Just try it on and see how it's going to work. No, thank you. Well, let's just say you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. You need me? Hello? Sir, I'm here. The letter. I have all the time in the world now for us to discuss what you said you're going to tell me. You said you have a secret to tell me, right? I feel this is the best time for us to talk about it. And like I said, I will tell you the secret someday, but not today. Certainly. Promise me you won't spill it to madam. Have a seat. Sure. Okay. I'm all ears. Sir, please. Promise me my, my secret is safe with you. The letter. Can you go ahead? It's about my true identity. I want to tell you because you're a good man. <laughs> What's up? I'm okay, bro. Welcome. Yeah. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day. Why are you looking at my maid like that? Your maid? Yeah. Uh, can you just be honest? This person doesn't really look like a maid. You mean this person works here? <laughs> of course. She's been working with me for the past six years now. Six years? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Um, you said she works here as a maid. Mm. I came here to tell you an unbelievable story about the same person. Rex, are you sure you know this person very well? What, what is it you heard about her? Can you, can you tell me? That's what I'm here to tell you. Okay, okay. I went... Excuse me. Oh my God. 
my God, school runs, bro. I, I really need to run along. All right. But don't worry, we can talk about it on our way out now. Sure, fine. That's it. Did you ask him why? I pretended like I didn't even see him. What can I find? market. I saw him not quite long. Alright, hold on, I'm coming. Okay. It is bigger than any mountain. All I want is to be with you. My daughter. Nothing is going to happen to you. You will live long to fulfill your destiny. Don't worry, very soon your mother will start receiving her salary and I promise you we are going to make everything comfortable. We are going to make this life rosy for you. You will not die. This medicine is going to work in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you, my daughter.
is your gas cylinder? I don't know. Don't ask me about my gas cylinder. I've sold it and I'm comfortable with it. See, I'm not happy. Oh. I don't like the news going plant and that I'm having something with you. I don't like it. Please, I take God beg you, free me. Just avoid me the way you avoid temptation. Okay. Follow me to the store. Let me give you money so you go back and carry your cylinder. In as much as you say no to me, but I cannot stand and watch you suffer. I cannot. Thank you, but I don't want. Stop giving me money. Everything you've, you've done so far, I appreciate, but I am done. My wife cannot be in the city trying to make life easy for me and our daughter. Me, I will be here in return, sleeping with people around. I don't want. Please. It's okay. Let's just go. You collect the money. I understand. I don't want. You want to reel me into temptation? I don't want. Fine, let me fall on that road. Owen! Owen! something else. I'm okay, thanks. It's fine. It's okay. More juice? I'm okay, thanks. It's okay. Uh, maybe I should tell him to get something like, um, you know, prints and all those. Okay, fine. You want more, more, more wine? No, 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 no. You know the son of who I am, like, I take this regularly. I take it every day. Oh, I'm okay. Really? Yes. Okay, but just feel free to order for whatever you want. I'm not scared of any views, not even one in my room. You know, I just wish you could give me the time to eat your three square meal a day. <sighs> you're so naughty. Really? Why? Yes, you're so naughty. Thanks for the compliment. But ladies like you spend lavishly on guys, like, you guys are definitely up to something. Up to what? Come on. Listen, I'm not like every other lady out there. I am not up to something. I'm just up to what you have down there. Uh, if that's it, it's fine. I'm looking forward to the tax. Really? Yes. You do? Ah, nice. You know, I think you should eat out because we're going to have a date to like tonight. Mm. Why, Oma? You're here. Yes. You're welcome. Did you tell me you're washing? Yes, I see you already. <laughs> Let me help you. No, 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 no. Don't bother yourself. Oh. Ah, see, you've done enough for me. Oh. I don't want to bother you anymore. Okay. Don't even go there. I insist. <laughs> <Don't Bye. done. laughs> me, I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> No need for that. Okay, if you are doing this, then um, I will be waiting for you. If you wish, but I can do this. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't help it. I can't help myself. I love you. I deeply love you. Please. I'm not that you. I know you love me, but we should be talking about agape love here. I'm not just comfortable with what just happened. Owen, please, make me your wife. Marry me. You won't regret it. I promise you. Ha. Why do you want to give devil a chance? Are you the one saying this? Oh, no, 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 please, let's... Oh, please. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to go to my bed. 
Just free yourself. Never, never so, oh, okay, oh, just kiss me, please. No, no. Oh, wait, please. Oh, wait, please. Please. I love you. I love you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Valletta, you and I know your major duty in that house is not to do the maid job, but to keep an eagle's eye on my husband. Yes, I know that, and that is what I am doing. Then why have you failed to tell me about a guy my husband always brings home to me in my absence? Always, always brings home. Who is he, and what have they been doing together? Ma'am, that could have happened in my absence, but for the which I know Rex has never brought any of his friends home. Paletta, I told you to always activate the CCTV on any occasion you have to go out of the compound. Which I always do. Trust me, I got confused when you said Rex brings his friends home. You know me, Valetta. If this ever repeats itself, I'll make sure you pay dearly for not keeping you on side of the bargain. We are safe in each other's hands. Go. Go. My phone. Thank you. So, this is one of the proofs to what I told you, sir. Did she tell you why she's doing this to me? No. She has never disclosed anything. But whatever it is, I believe it must be something serious. Please, sir. Do what you have to do to discover what Madame knows that you do not. Madam, just um, give me a goosey 400. Okay. Um, on crayfish 100. Okay. Then we put the pepper, pepper 15. Okay. Um, what, what about stockfish? Stocking. Stockfish. No, 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 I have that one at all. Okay, have it at all. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the man <manqueable. laughs> Yes, sir. I'm going. My God. <laughs> so you relocated to Abuja and you do not even bother to show up. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. We talk every day, almost every day. Every day. Kevo. Kevo, you don't try you. Kevo, you don't say I don't know if you fuck you up now. It's not like that. Um, I'm still in Asabao. Just that my wife got a job in Abuja, but I'm, I'm yet to join her. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, my brother. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. Um, you said I didn't get that. You saw my wife. Oh, but now your wife's car, eh? Now your wife's car makes sense. Uh, free long. You sell card. You sell um, um, my. You sell card. Card. Okay. Uh, what of the okra? You put the okra. So I do not demand for okra. Um. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, Let me right? recharge my watch. This call is very important. I'm coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> my honey, you didn't tell me that God has done it now. You didn't inform me that your company has given you an official car. Well, you know, this has been my prayer point, Tassa. An official car? 
Who told you I have an official car? A friend of mine just told me that he saw you driving your new car in Abujara. It's a thing of joy. I'm celebrating already. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, since when did me running errands with my boss's car now become my official car? Anyways, we thank God. I claim it. Hey, you mean me? I'm not all that good, Hey! Now, why will all these things stop now? Eh? I'm sorry, I thought uh, the miracle has happened already. Uh, this is my 17th day of praying and fasting. Eh? I thought you saw these things will come to an end. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I claim it. Uh, my dear, just uh, keep on pushing. Uh, God will answer us one day. Uh, uh, God not to shame us. Uh, all this prayer that I'm praying for you will not go in vain. My God will bless you. Uh, everybody walking in that your company, see, uh, they, all of them will walk to cover you. Uh, everybody in that, see, let me tell you, uh, the God I serve, the God of, the God that, uh, that man that is in heaven, he is not blessed. See, let me tell you, the God I serve will favor you. Uh, you will go places. Everything will work in your favor. You see your manager, everything they put in that you agree with your appointment, they will give it to you in Jesus' name. Uh, hello? Um, um, uh, uh, amen, amen. My love, I have to call you back. Yes, yes thank you. <sighs> Hi. Um, see, so I want to apologize for what happened the last time between you and my oldies. How they embarrassed you. I'm sorry. Well, I have forgiven them. As a matter of fact, I think we should let Bygone be Bygone, right? to pass a message which is oh
the bad ones get everything. <sighs> Why? And the good, the good girls are just left, just left with crumbs. <sighs> the bad ones get, get the. The best of everything. Why? Why is this? Why is this so everywhere? Why? Even the relationship, business, religion. What is so special about being a bad girl? What do they lack that good girls don't have? What? What? Huh? They cheat. They lie. They steal. They, they so, they so heartless and they, they... And they even suspect everyone. The bad girls drink themselves to stupor and never see a reason to trust their loved ones. <laughs> You're right, sweetheart. Top it off, the, the bad ones always live long, and the, <laughs> the good ones they die young. Above all, my dear Viva, there is nothing good about being a bad girl. Tell that to the swine. No time for rubbish. No time for rubbish. Let's take you to the room. Leave me alone. Leave me. Sorry. Use my time for something. Just. Yet another fish for my buffet. <laughs> and to think he came to me to apologize. Yes! <laughs> he was everything. Come of it. I mean, you should have known. I, Sasha Okeji, I am not interested in your sorry. As a matter of fact, I cannot wait to strap that thing in between your legs. <laughs> On the same bed, I will so deal with you. Welcome to my world. <laughs> so, what's his name again? The man. Sasha Okeji.
babes, guess what? I caught a big fish. Trust me. I guess you're relocating your family down here now. It seems you, I mean, you're not even listening to me. I am trying to tell you that I met someone today. The big fish, a very big one. As a matter of fact, this guy is the classiest of the three. Oh my goodness, God, this guy is swimming in millions. I, I, I am telling you. And you're already over four months into your new job. Oh, Jesus Christ. With an official car and a house. So I don't see anything stopping you from bringing your family here now. Viva, why are you doing this? You know, do you always derive joy whenever you have to make me remember my past? What did I tell you? I have been riding this guy for four years of my life. And yet I got nothing. <sighs> Baby, that marriage was tasteless. It was boring. It was not working. As a matter of fact, all the handsome guys were rejecting me because I was poor and dirty. And now that I am well to win, you want me to go back to such tasteless marriage? No, I won't. Come on, honey, have some conscience. Don't you think I deserve some happiness? I need to have fun. And not until I'm done with it, I am not going back to that marriage. To that ugly thing that calls himself my husband. I won't. Last time I checked, you planned to bring your husband and your child to join you here. What has made you jettison that promise? What is your problem? No, haven't you been listening to me or this wife? I told you that that marriage was tasteless. Uh, still not making any sense. Sasha, bring in your family and put in whatever taste you want in your husband. You got the money now, babe. I don't understand you, but I am sorry to disappoint you. I am not going back to that house. As a matter of fact, I won't go back. Not until Damon joins the list of all the fishes in my pond. I won't. Why would you want me to leave all those tasteful deeds and just go back to some ugly, rejected, retarded, shrinked dinosaur? Some ugly homo sapiens? Sasha. Please. Sasha. Excuse me? Out of my office. Myself. I can see. Is that why you've been avoiding me recently? Me avoid you? How? Where? I cannot avoid you. Ha. I won't try to avoid anything that will put me into temptation. So that's why you've been cutting me off? I don't know how to tell you that I am married. I am a married man. Look at my ring. You only have a baby mama and that does not make you a married man. Stop this thing you're doing. Um. Thank you for reminding me. Let me go and ease myself. My camera by my name now. Owen! Owen! But well, that was not the secret Valletta revealed to me. I'm very certain she won't tell you what I just told you. Are you sure it's Valletta you heard about? Could be another Valletta. Rex. You have to be very careful. Mind your steps. Open your eyes. 
I got the secret from a reliable source. Be careful, friend. Come on. This is unbelievable. I need to confirm this as soon as possible. Good. Very good. Like I said earlier, Rex, be very careful. You never can tell how important this secret is to her. What you heard is correct. I'm a billionaire. I'm a member of the most powerful kidnapping ring in this country. What? With over 30 members who cannot identify each other, except the Supreme Commander and I. The Supreme Commander and I fled leaders after our middleman was arrested and jailed. The middleman saw my face once, but the middleman cannot identify who the Supreme Commander is or what the Supreme Commander looks like. In our kidnapping ring, everyone bears a fake name. It may interest you to know that our Supreme Commander is your wife. Sorry? My wife. Did you just say my wife? A kidnapper. The deadliest kidnapper without her face. She works in that telecommunication in order to extract vital information about billionaires. And afterwards send it to our foot soldiers who track our victims. Why did you decide to come work here as a maid? I live in a multi-million naira duplex, which doubles as our kidnapping den. Every morning I leave the house as a camouflage that I'm going to work, come here, pretend as a maid in order to watch over you. Why? Your wife lives beyond her salary and the only way to cover it up is to claim that her husband lives abroad. Usually, our victims pay their ransom in current forensic, which is run by one of our members who stays abroad. After which you will pay the money back into Viva's account as her husband who stays abroad. 
That is why there was no white wedding. No any trash. Everything was done in paper. No one knows that you stay around or in the country. You cannot be identified to people. You live abroad. Rex, I'm sorry to call you by your name. My mouth is too heavy to say the next secret. Because if I do, you will never, ever forgive Viva for the rest of your life. I'm sorry. Angel, <laughs> the love of my life, the most beautiful woman on earth, the woman that will make me to do what people will not expect. <laughs> my uncle, Alicia, my God will bless you. My beautiful wife, God will bless you. Eh? I just got the alert of uh, 30,000 naira. Who am I? Eh? <laughs> you see, eh? let me tell you something. Where that money came from? Millions will return there. <laughs> My God will place your account. <laughs> hey, um, uh, thank you very much. I love you. Um, um see, uh, don't worry. Very soon, things will turn around for you. Everything will start working for you, so that we will come over and stay with you and have a united happy family again. Nobody again in Jesus' name. It's not our portion to go. Yeah? See, let me tell you something. As you're saying it, my God, the God I serve, has done it. Yeah? He will touch the heart of your car, the boss in the company, so that he will pay you and even promote you to a better place. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you. Uh, God bless you. God bless you, my Jeffrey. Hey. Wow, we're going to get more than 30,000.
Yes, the license we have been looking for. The 5G broadband license. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, yes. Tomorrow we will. I'll meet with them tomorrow with the legal team. They'll send them to us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll call you right away, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, but I actually hear you well. And our company just secured the 5D broadband license. Uh, girl. Wow. <laughs> girl, that is the biggest news right now. I'm telling you. A multi million dollar contract just landed on our table. As a matter of fact, I shall be meeting with a solicitor tomorrow to finally seal the deal officially. Wow! <laughs> we have blown, honey. You can say that again. I, I, guess what, honey? I also have good news. What? And you will love this one. So let's just say Damien finally gave me to my appointment and we are having a date tomorrow. Sasha, you're sick. No, I'm not sick. As a matter of fact, I came to your office so I could let you know so you could, you know, give an excuse for me. I will not be coming to work tomorrow. But don't worry, I know what you want. The gorgeous. I'll be giving you every detail on the way I strapped the hell out of that headlight. Sasha! What? Don't you ever think about something else? Why? I mean, the only thing I have in my head right now is a good deal. Sex! Come! Please. That's how. You're, you're crazy. Get out. <laughs> Down. Please, anyways, congratulations, girl. I am so happy for us. It's time for you to start bringing in deals like me, too. Oh, so thinking please. about this deal. Listen, if the deal doesn't have to do it, I'm not interested. Stupid girl. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, very good, oh, very good, oh, very good. Well, my well, I'm yeah, well, yeah. Five five baby, five five baby, five five clothes, five five clothes, two two hundred, two two hundred. Grade one, grade one, grade one, grade one. Oh, Belego, oh, Belego, oh, Belego. <laughs> fine, fine, okay for your baby. Oh. Fine, fine clothes for your fine, fine baby. Oh, oh Belego, oh, Belego, oh, Belego. Fine, fine, okay for baby that are okay. Oh, your baby no okay. You. <laughs> Bye bye, okay. Look at it. Can you imagine? Let's go. Uh -huh, my guy. <laughs> you look like a married man. Two four hundred. One of the young one leg in the end. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. I have my love. Two four hundred. 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 Two Bye, three, get one free. Bye, three, get one free. If you buy now, that's one. Okay. For this one, fine, baby. I'm gonna give you Yeah? I'm gonna give you Tina. They bring money. They bring money. They bring money. I could add this one. I could add this one for the baby. I think. I'm gonna give you Tina. I'm gonna give you Tina. I'm <laughs> hey, fine, fine, okay, fine, fine, okay. Two, two hundred naira. Okay. If your baby die, okay. Come and take care okay, of your baby. I am give this for two hundred. Huh? This for two hundred. They bring money. They bring money. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Ah, come on, I don't look for you, sis. This one, this one, this one, fine. Buy four and get two. If your baby die, okay. Come and take care. Hey, fine. All of them are first grade, though. Okay, you get up, you get soft. I get up. Make I see you what you get. Oh, my customer, my customer. I'm okay. safe in travel. You know, no, 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 no. How do you go? We didn't buy it. I do. How do you go 50 naira and I'm big now? Yeah? 50 naira. For one night. Bring money, bring money. Time, oh, very good, oh, very good. I got that you want to buy one. If you buy four, I'm going to take this five for two hundred. I don't wait. Let me first take this one. Let's go. 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 let us go Buy four and get 
one free. If your baby no okay, come and pick better, okay. If your baby no okay, okay. 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 Hello? Hello? Alpha! Oh, and you can't believe what I just saw now. You can believe me. What happened? Owen, I saw your wife spending lavishly on my neighbor's brother. The same guy who is famous for sleeping around with married women for money. Owen, I saw this and I can't believe it. I'm, I'm a Kevin. Kevin, hold on. I don't want to warn you, but let me beg you in the name of God. I don't want you to call my line again. No, 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 no. let me warn you for the last time. Don't you ever call this line. I can't call it. See, let me tell you something. I am not the cause of your marital problems, so oh. My wife is not your wife, and my wife will never be your wife. Let me tell you, if you are looking for a family to scatter, go back to your village. In fact, go and meet your ancestors. Don't you ever come and number there and talk rubbish. Huh? How can you be coming around and giving me BP? What am I going to see? How can I call your mother? Hello? Uh-huh. Who now asked you to call the call? Ekwensu. I didn't pick to your call hoping that the waterproof will come from the call. Eh? Custom, I'm coming, you oh! Know? I'm one island, give me waterproof! A beautiful wife. <laughs> hmm? I'm only child. And I'm a bad Jehovah. Stop, so. Am I okay now? Of course. You look glam, glam, glam. <laughs> hmm. I remember the last time you dressed me up like this. I was any time you're going for an important appointment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so as you step into that office, they shall obey you. Amen. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. Amen. What you're going there for must be granted. Amen. The angels will go with you. Amen. Guide you. Amen. Protect you. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Rex, mm -hmm. my prayer warrior husband. That's my wife. <laughs> mm. Mwah. All right, baby. All right, honey. Let me walk you. Bye.
What's that? I don't know. He wants to see you. Alright, send him in. Okay. never stayed out this long. Mm. I called you several but you didn't take your calls. What happened? No. I'm sorry. It was just a big day. I finally met with the government team on communications and it was a deal. <laughs> we got it. So my prayer worked. Oh, good. And so my boss just organized an emergency party for the staff in I left my phone in the car. I just forgot to take it in with me. I'm sorry. It's all right, baby. I'm glad my prayer worked. I mean. Oh, my goodness. It worked perfectly. <laughs> I've never been happier. <laughs> so let's go in. Uh, he must be very tired. Okay. That's exactly what I need right now.
Hello, Sacha. Can you check the message you sent to my phone and get back to me now? do you have to tell now to cover up this ungodly act of yours? I, I didn't get any message on my phone. Okay, are you sure you, it was my number that sent it to you? Who the hell is Fred? That you're asking to come and sleep over while you take him shopping tomorrow morning? <laughs> oh baby, you, you nearly scared me. Did you didn't even check the time? 12 a.m. And what's today supposed to be? I mean, what's the date? Can you stop asking silly questions and attend to my question first? Who is Fred? Come on, baby. There is no Fred. Okay, fine. Today is a prank free day and all I did was to play some game on you and you fell for it. That's it. <sighs> you just fooled me. Happy April Fool's Day, baby. Babe, this prank is very expensive. You got me hard this time. Okay. Good night. I love you. But he said he's married. Oh. That's a capital lie. You and I know that since the last four months you opened the shop, we've never seen him with any woman. Exactly. Exactly. That is why I love him. You know, after my last heartbreak, I don't want to go back to all these young and flashy guys. Owen is he's responsible. He's mature. And he already have the, you know, the, knows the value of having a companion. That's the important thing. Maybe he's afraid of heartbreak, just like the way your ex-boyfriend did to you. And he's also afraid of a relationship, the way you are too. Or, or, or am, am I not good enough? Am I asking for too much? You are not. Okay, you just keep your hands first. Time will do the magic, okay? He will come back to you. I love him. He will come back to you. I want somebody like him. He's... It's okay. It's He's okay. very mature. He's... I know, I understand. So, 
you sent for me. Sir. The letter. Sir. I've been thinking of what you told me the other time about my wife. I've been thinking so deeply. You said if you tell me the next secret about my wife, I will never, ever forgive her. Would you kindly tell me the next secret? I have been so scared. With all due respect, sir, I do not know when that dropped out of my mouth. Some things are better not said. Please forgive me. You seem to know a lot about my wife. What's the secret? Hmm? You're not deaf, right? Truth is a good thing. But some truths are more destructive than lies. I value your marriage. Like I said earlier, you're a good man. Please, continue to enjoy your marriage. I beg you, in God's name. Excuse me. The letter. someone being too much of a good girl. You should always have it anywhere, anytime. So you see? What I like you always tell those guys you're strapped at your marriage. Come off it, girl. Mine is different. My man should be somewhere in some Sahara desert or whatever. I don't even know if he's dead or still alive. You know what? I think I need to know this guy. Who is this guy that has caught on my girlfriend's passion? For decoding, because I know you, you're close to being a saint. Girl, you will not believe this. This guy wants marriage or nothing. Yes. No hotel meetings, no coming to his house, no sex until we're officially engaged. Who does that? My sister, I'm pretty sure I'm over here. You know, I think the question should be, do you like him? I mean, do you want to strap him? Tell you the truth. I don't understand my feelings for him. Oh my God. All I know is my heart pants for him. Then strap the sky and dump him like a rubbish in the bin. That's the boat. Sasha. How? Where am I supposed to do that? 
at the bus stop, in a restaurant, or on my matrimonial bed. Well, let's just say my house. My house. You tell me you're single and you live alone. That's it. I can always give up. I mean, I can always give way for you guys to have your strapping. Come on. Girl, you have to understand something. When a modern woman wants something, she goes for it. Don't just talk more when you have a good dick in the market. Girl, go buy it. Do whatever you want to do for yourself. What is you mean it? You are sitting right in front of Sasha Ukeji, the chairman of DSC, Dick Hunting Committee. When I tell about how to go about a man's dick, you go about it and it goes so perfectly well, honey. Come on. Right? But your husband is coming soon. Oh, please. What to be husband? I am talking about a living thing. I hear you are talking about a cocked millipede. Hello? Please. You know, I'm just thinking about Demo right now. He is just so stubborn. He's my problem. He's just like a bone in my throat. I've been trying to see how to face it. Hmm. So, how did your meeting with him yesterday go? Didn't you listen to me? I just thought he was a total fuck up. That guy is proving so stubborn to get. But I know myself. I got my rules. I'm a patient though. I take my time. Lastly, <laughs> front back. <laughs> Demon. Mm? Uh, I've been meaning to ask you for quite some time now. Should your marital status? Are you married? Engaged, single, or just not ready? Well, I think I'll take the last option. Just not ready. But I have found someone. <laughs> Very beautiful. You know, destiny has been working so hard that our path cross. And I must say, I see love in there. Wow. <laughs> That is so beautiful. Mm. So, what are you guys planning? Like, um, do you do you have a date yet? Um, not so fast. You know, we just started dating, so um, I can't just rush. I think this thing takes time. So, um, I'll take you one step at a time. But the most important thing is that if she if she meets up my demands test. She might just be the right one. Yeah, you're, you're correct. But you see, love mm -hmm. is all about sacrifice, right? Word, word, word. So um, you can't get a perfect person. You just have to put those conditions aside and let love rule. <laughs> That's what I've been hearing, and I keep making the same mistake over and over again, especially with my ex. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm going to take my time, plot my graph, set my test, and if she passes it, I know that person is my wife. Come on, Rex. Whole lot of gold diggers everywhere. You want me to just find someone and jump into love with that person? That's not going to happen. No, that's not what I'm saying. I can't advise you wrongly. I'm not advising you to jump um, into a gold digger relationship, right? Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, if you're trying to find a perfect person out there, then I'm afraid you will never ever find one. Okay? You just you just have to be careful. I love the fact that you're taking um, precautions on that. Mm -hmm. You just have to be careful. Well, my wife said she has a friend, but then <laughs> just be careful. I wish you all the best in, oh. the, in, in this one you're into right now. Asante Sana. In the bunda. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there something to eat? Nothing. We're going out to eat something.
friend. Go and think about my proposal first. If you accept, then come back. I'll render the help you need. I have learned to put my money where my interest lies, okay? Um, Ella, see, there's something you're not understanding. Eh? I'm not talking about the proposal or the interest. I'm talking about my daughter that is not feeling fine. Just borrow me money, let me go and buy medicine for her. My wife will soon send money, and I'll come and pay you back. Uh, uh, you can add something on top as interest so that once I, I will bring the interest because yeah. Owen, just go and think about it. She's not understanding me. I said my daughter is not feeling fine. I need this money to go and buy drugs and I'll give you back. I'm not begging you to dash me money. Oh. Biko, it didn't be in any way where you You know? Ella. Biko can zone don't want oh Biko. Um, sorry, let me use your, your phone and make the call. Just one minute. It's call. okay. Let me let me unlock it. All right. So that the numbers there. Please, uh, if the person pick, uh, there's something I told you before. Yes. I think or pick. You don't forget anything. No, it's Just okay. do exactly what we discussed. It's okay. I remember everything. Okay. Just that the number. Yes. Put it, put it there. Just press it. It's last one. Yes. It's wrong. It's wrong. Hello? Yes, baby. Baby, it's me. Fred. Yes, Fred. Egalo. So you don't have my number again? If she calls back, don't take the call. It's okay, but, but, but you can tell me what is wrong. It's not... Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Thank you. You can, you, you can talk to... this feeling suddenly coming from? God. I vowed never to go back to my past. Why is Damon becoming so irresistible to me? After all my encounter with him, now that I'm supposed to get down with him, he suddenly spoiled everything by requesting marriage. And that's the last thing I'll ever think of. No, I, I can't do that. I, I, I cannot divorce Rex. No. He's the only man I can bend the way I please. He's the only loyal man I know. Is my heart pulling me towards my past life now? No. Mm -mm. No. No. I will not give the devil a chance again in my life. I won't. This has to end now. Better than those who do. You no, know, you're not. Tell me, does it make you live longer than those who do? No. Does it even make you older than the prophets on earth? No, it doesn't. Sweetheart, all those that kill and wink sexually are good sinners. Asking for same mercy from same God. 
I thought you were a Christian. You should by now know that it's even written in the book. Of, I mean, the book of life. Chapter, enjoy yourself as life is too short. Sasha, there is nothing to gain from adultery. She has stop it. I know this. You don't know it. You can't even feel it because you've never tried it before. You need to understand it. Adulterers are the happiest people on earth. Their pleasure is multifaceted. Sweetheart, you need to experience it. How do you know something you've never experienced before? There are millions of women who are into this. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that those women are not white? Or better still, are you trying to tell me that we are not smart? Sasha, I called you here to give me suggestions on how I can overcome my feelings for this guy. And that is what I am doing, honey. No. That is what I am doing. Listen, it's a very simple thing. You know what? You want an answer? I'll give you the answer. Simple. Yes, yeah, but it's not the right what? feeling. It's okay. I'm going to hit another on the head. You know what? Just follow your heart. What does the heart tell you? To go ra -ra -ra or ta -ta -ta with a guy, you know? Just pick something. Better still, I think I know where you are. Ah, I know your time. You might jump faster. <laughs> it make you feel better. Okay, let Oh, thank you fast. I know your time. We are here to talk. And you cannot stand up while we are doing that. Sit down. Is it on my mouth that we used to talk? Well, why are you behaving like a baby? Okay, um, this is my house. I can uh, sit down anywhere. Let me sit here. So, I'm um, okay. Yeah, let's talk. What matters to me now is, don't mind me or the way I'm behaving. What matters to me now is my daughter's uh, health. So, I'm okay. Let's just talk. I know. And she's already taking treatment, all thanks to me. So, sit down. Let's have lovers talk. Huh? Hey, um, just remove the lovers. The talk is what matters now. Let's talk. As people that are mature. Right? Owen, yeah? don't get on my nerves. Come and sit down here. Let's have lovers talk. Owen, we had a deal. Hi. Okay, let me just see. But the lovers, if I know. I agree with you to have talk. But if the lovers talk, it's what I don't understand. Let's talk. Owen. Owen. I proposed something and you agreed. We had a deal.
have you in my town, man. Thank you very much. Wow. Bro, see, this city, eh? Hey, yeah. this city is very beautiful. That's a beautiful girl. My baby oh, has been crying. Baby, how bro. are you? Oh, so, so, so sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry for keeping you here, you know? There's my no car problem. got a flat tire, so I need to just work on it. Okay. That's why I came with the car, bro. Yeah. Welcome, man. Yeah. Welcome. Thank welcome, you very much. Good to have you. Baba, oh, no. I want you this opportunity and beg you something. Sorry for oh, all come off all those words are you that are bad. See, I can do that. No, 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 bro. No, 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 no. Bro, no, no, no. It doesn't come to that. Bro. I thought we talked about this before. Bro. Thank you, very much. That's my problem. Thank you, very much. Good to have you around. Thank you. Baby looks so cute. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on. Don't worry, sir. There's no cause for, for alarm. You know, one thing about food, food poisoning is that we cannot predict the extent of its complication. But she's getting better. Yeah. Okay, doctor. I'm, I'm glad you said she's, she's getting better. Because the way she fainted was really so scary. Yeah, you know, that was enough to scare you. Yeah, but she's getting better. I'll come back in the evening to check on her. Okay, doctor. Yeah. Let me see you all. Sure. I'm so sorry, I, I didn't tell you, okay? I, I came to the mountaintop to pray with my pastor. We're having a five-day fasting and prayer session. Yes, yes. Yeah, don't, no, no, don't worry. I'll, I'll call you once I get back, okay? God bless you. Amen, amen, all right. All right, bro. See you some other time. Your wife will be all right, okay? Mr. Damon was here again today. He said that there's an important thing he wants to discuss with you, but you were not picking up. Now, what did you tell him? I told him that you've been searching for your, your phone since yesterday, and you just drove off not long ago before he came. That was smart of you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, please, sir, how is Madame feeling now? She's better, just that I'm, I'm scared. You, you are, you're scared about what? About uh, what I now know about her. And it's revealed now, so I'm scared. 
Olga. Olga, please. I beg you. Do not let her know that I discussed anything with you. I beg you. She will not spare me. She will not. It's okay. It's fine. right now is frustration. Timon, please. I beg you, I need you. Just look into my eyes. Can't you see how helpless I am? All I just want from you is a chance in your life. Please. Sasha, do you know that you're embarrassing me? I'm sorry, but I can't control okay. myself anymore. All right, let's, let us meet at Quantum Lock by 5 p.m. If that's okay about you. Really? Thank you so much. I'll, I'll, I'll see you by 5 p.m., okay? Oh, I official residence a three bedroom well furnished apartment I got the pictures from Fred's phone I mean the young man I told you messes around with married women around the neighborhood so my wife lives in this house you're showing me now and she abandoned me, and I will need her to suffer in that area. I don't understand it. And you are still asking me to come down. Eh? Am yeah. I not supposed to go and barge into that place and deal with that woman? You are only getting to know your wife now. You know how? You know Sasha now? She used to be a loving wife. And she's caring. She's this kind of man that cares for her family. But who thing is complicated? I don't know what to oh, believe again. Hey, listen, perhaps that was the uh, version of her, the poor version. You know? You see, you do not know a woman's true character until she has the money. So this is your real wife. This is the real Sasha that you do not know. The company but gave you know her what? this house. The company gave her this house with that car. I've got a more shocking revelation to make. Driver, take us to Julius Avenue. So, what is it you want from me? I want everything from you. 
I want you. I want your love, your care. Sweetheart, I just, I just want you. As a matter of fact, I want you to be my personal dick. All right. I'll think about it. Okay, so, um, since you want to think about it, I do not have a problem with it. But, what? can I at least have your number so we can keep in touch while you're thinking about it? All right, um, I'll give you my number if that's what you want. Okay. But please, I'm allergic to disturbing calls. Your wish is my command. <laughs> okay, so you can add it up here. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, I should be leaving now. Oh, okay, fine. You can leave, but could we at least make a toast to this meeting? Toast. Toast. To this meeting. To our new friendship. Come on, be romantic. Oh, friendship. Okay. I'll be expecting your call. I will, definitely. Indeed, life and everything we labor for in this world is vanity. <sighs> what if, what if I had died five days ago just from Food poisoning. Then Sasha would have been right when she said, Life is free and everything free has no guarantee. <laughs> well, many lessons learned. Many lessons learned. I see now that we're not alive by our own making. Neither is it by our righteousness, nor the sins we try not to commit. It's just chance. It's just chance. I'm glad you made it. My love. I thought I was not gonna make it. I was scared at some point, but then I believed that God would not allow it to happen. Thank you for taking such good care of me. But you don't need to say that to my wife. If I don't, who will?
Welcome back. Thank you. It feels really good to be back and better and stronger. You know, you kept the company at stand still with your absence. Everyone missed you. Oh. Once again, welcome. Thank you, babe. This sickness is really an eye-opener and a game-changer for me. Yeah. You know, I overheard a member of staff talking about you having, I mean, usually having the summer attack every 8th of June. Is it true? <laughs> Sasha, please. Do not mention that date around me again. Please don't. It's the worst day of my life. Sorry. I'm just anyway, curious. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. So, back to our previous discussion. Are you still willing to lend me your apartment? No, you didn't just say that. You heard me, girl. Will you? You're not serious, are you? I am. <laughs> wow. Why this sudden change of mind? Girl. What? What if I don't survive another June 8? Huh? Mm. Look, babe, I have just one life to live. And last time I checked, I have not enjoyed it to the maximum. Ooh. No, I have not. Mm -mm. How can you just cut out the fight? <laughs> <laughs> My room is open for you, baby. Mm. So tell me, you know, I was thinking, what color of bed sheet does you look like? Blue, pink, green, you know, white? You're crazy. No, because the guy lasts with the color of the bed sheet, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> you see, Chevron. <laughs> I'm talking about my experience. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that horse! You hit your head. Yeah, because of a D. That horse. You have to you have to pay me back. With a good D. No, you owe me dinner. <laughs> huh? Oh, when you are allowing this pain to take all of you. You see, I'm beginning to feel guilty for even letting you in on this. Please, my friend. Take this call. Pick a call, please. Kevin, I said I don't want to talk to her for now. Please understand that. That is exactly what I'm saying. You should take her call and let her know you are in town. The both of you need to sit down and iron out this thing once and for all. Look, obviously you cannot divorce your wife because she flirts. If that's the way it's been done, a lot of men will be out of marriage by now. Please, take her call. Kevin, you worry yourself so much about me. Meanwhile, I appreciate the fact that you've been here for me. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you very much and God bless you. Amen to your prayers, bro. But try to understand what I'm saying, Kev. You have to pick up her call. The both of you need to say one by one. Your prayers makes no sense if your home is broken. Cut see of me. Please. Take up this call for my sake. I did this for your prayer, not to break your home. Kevin, you are just forcing me to do what I don't want to do. Please do it for me. But it's well. For me. Thank you. Baby. I'm sorry about that. I was in the kitchen and uh, my phone is in the room. And I called earlier. Mm. 
Okay, let's talk later then. Let me finish with what I'm doing in the kitchen. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Very bad. But don't you think it's necessary for the both of you to see? Because you can sit together and iron things out. What's up? Kevin, don't bother yourself. I know what to do. Just want you to help me and do something. Will you do that? Bro, I'm with you on this already. I'm standing with you. Oh, is there something else you want to do? Thank you very much. Really? Did you meet him in the office? Yes. Well, at least you could have called him. Maybe he will instruct you to give it to someone there. I did. So, why did you come back with the drive? He said I should come meet him at some lunch, somewhere around. So, why didn't you go there to meet him? I went. I went. But. but what? I met someone with him. A woman who I never believed that would be there. Mm. So. Mm. Oh, he's even the one calling. Yeah, what's up, bro? What happened? What? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I I'm happy for you, bro. <laughs> Finally. Wow, that's, that's great. That's so sweet. <laughs> I'm happy for you, bro. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I was even, um, I sent my uh, mate.
Wow. What do we have here? A nice one. I mean, different strokes for different folks, right? You know, by the time you will be strafing the hell out of him, make it look like it was a setup. Make it look like it was a mistake. And then, the engagement hits the rock. Trust me, honey. That is the DHC ride or die formula. Mm -hmm. Is that sure? What? I think I went too far. And trying to cover up my initial mistake of telling him I was single. <laughs> Covering up your mistake. What the hell are you talking about? Guys, how they do sing. Okay, fine. Guys out there keep whining and whining you until you have to believe that they're rich. Besides, they have no bob. You might have got nothing on them. So now let me tell you the story. You know, my husband used to own me with one car like that. That car was amazing. You know, I was so grateful to God for giving me such a rich man as husband. But who? Guess what? After I married him, I found out that he was nothing but a mad driver. Not even a chauffeur. No. Mad driver. Now, talking about the man, I have done everything possible to get to me between my legs. But what? He still claims he's too stubborn. Baby, those men out there are the same. They are a bunch of irritated idiots. So you use them and dump them. Hmm. You know what I just realized? Spelling baby. This must be the new format in town. Ah, uh, it is. Coming from the chairman of BC. So. Only God knows how many of us Damon has engaged the last six months. Now you're talking. Now tell me, how many rounds did you go? <laughs> rounds? Yeah, rounds. <laughs> you haven't even given me the key to your house, remember? Yeah, but I was still gonna give it to you in the morning. What's the difference? <laughs> Good, um, unless I forget. This is just an advice from a dear friend. Because I, I see that um, Damon is not really your type. You know, I was going to tell you, I've just been forgetting. Why don't you just forget about him and, you know, you know yourself. Try to find yourself a real bad guy for yeah. your strapping spree. Never. I want 20. I am Sasha Okeji. I don't give up. I strap for what I want to strap. No stopping me. Sasha UKJ, President, DHC. Ha! The Chief Strapper. The Chief Strapper. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, I must say you have a very nice apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, make yourself comfortable. I'm comfortable already. <laughs> um, so what do I offer you? <clears throat> Anything soft. Something soft. Mm -hmm. You sure? <laughs> Sure, you don't need. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Something starts coming right up. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, um, cold room temperature. Um, cold. Many <laughs> ones. <laughs> that's fine. I'll get you something light. All right. The first, and um, you take it in the bedroom. Okay, let me just show you around first. And you said the last one, you, I'll do what, take it where? In the bedroom. 
I'm so emotional right now. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so you show me around. Show yeah. Me. <laughs>
your father is serving a life sentence in a maximum prison. That's right. How did you know about that? He was the middleman in our kidnapping ring. That cannot be true. My father is innocent. He was falsely accused. His name is Simon and not Evans, like they accused him of. I told you in our kidnapping ring, everybody bears a fake name. Well, my father told me in confidence that he was falsely accused. He's not the Evans. He only had indirect connection with him. He's innocent. You're correct. Okay. He's not the original Evans. He doesn't even know who the Evans is in person. The real Evans is a man. Your wife. She married you as a compensation to your father, who is seven in her name. Can you, can you stop? This is no longer funny. My wife, the real event. Rex, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have revealed all this. But you forced the truth out of my mouth. But believe me, I am planning on how to go about this. Just trust me. The secret is not finished. I'll never forgive Viv.
Sasha. Sasha! I am scared. I'm so scared right now. Can you believe he's been sleeping till this time? Why? Just wake him up or something. I have tried. I've tried in every way that I know, but no way. Wait a minute. Did you give him any drink from my bar? Drink? <laughs> yes. Y yes, I, I, I did. I did. I gave him something from your bar. Why? Oh my goodness, God. You shouldn't have given him the drink. Every drink in my bar is being drugged. That is the only way those guys get to strap me like some horse. Oh my God, Sasha. Why, why, why did you tell me? Okay, just, just relax. I'm home. Hello? Sasha? Sasha? Sasha, are you there? Oh my God, my tree. My tree. Can you open the door for me? I can, you can't come in, okay? You, you can't. We're both stuck naked. Just just tell them what to do, please. Are you kidding me right now? I need to come inside, seriously. I need to get into my house. Sasha, forget about coming in, okay? Tell me why it is. I mean, more reason you should let me come into the house. I've got an antidote. Where is it? You know I have to go home tonight and if not wanting suspecting I drugged him. Just check the drawer by the bedside and you'll see the white container with some ash on the cover. Oh, oh, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Rex, please stop crying. You have to go up there and just sleep. Viva will be home anytime soon. Do not let her know that I've told you the secret. She will have my head chopped off. This is her to be. I cannot go into that room to be with a woman. Who sake my father's languishing in prison? I hate Viva. I hate her with everything in me. You have no idea how I feel. You have to. You have to calm down until we're done with our plans. Please. Look, this is not me to go in there. I leave this house. I can't spend, I can't stay on the same bed with that devil. Oh, I can't do it. Rex. Don't even tell me to do it, please. Just Rex. Tell me to Shh. This is not the time to cry. Do not make me regret telling you this. I thought you would join me 
in my underground plans. Now listen. I've set my plans going. I'll call you as soon as I am done. I'll take off immediately. Do you hear me? Now go upstairs. Sleep and pretend nothing happens or you never heard anything. You need to man up. Like your father. Go. Rex? Leta, please, just, just let me be. Just go. Please, just go. But I told you. Just go there and show it to me. I want to call now. Yes, 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 yes. Are you going? Okay. Listen, I'm not so bad. Yeah, right. Just go there.
Bros. I beg, don't be offended. What's up? I'm looking for my baby. Mwam, mwam, ah. Adam, why? Your baby, what's up now? Hey, I don't know. You know me now. I'm the guy that used yes. to help people yes. take their things to the for car. Marcus, for Marcus, man. Hey, this happen? man just came. Oh. He said I should help him and take uh, his things to the car. He wanted to help me carry my baby. Before I know it, the man disappeared, though. Hey. Adam, why? I mean, how the man did now? The man just came for belly. You, 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 you didn't see anybody. <laughs> Oh, you boy. So now, so the carry kidnapped this man, Piki. What 
is going on here? Eva! Rex! Is this the same person you've been telling me about or her sister? She's my wife. The kidnapper. Eva! You're married? I just told you she's my wife. Her name is not Eva. Her name is Viva. What in heaven's name is going on here? What is this Eva, Viva? What is it with you and Va? Rex, this is the same woman I've been telling you about. I proposed to you, did I? Speak! Valetta. How dare you? So you finally gave me up to all I did for you. You were the worst in my life. Oh, Viva, stop! We need to stop already. What? We need to stop. Put an end to this game. The world needs to know that the original Evans is not the one in the prison. You are the original Evans. They need to know that the original Evans is a woman. I cannot withstand the helpless cry of the throat from the prison of injustice. Have the heart of a mother. You're a woman. A mother with two children. Stop already. I asked you a question. Are you married? Yes, she is. With two children. For Rex. This is no time for questions. What next? Move. Move. Larry. Move. Move. What are you and Larry? Move. started when I was 16 in the Lava International Market where I worked as secretary to some billionaires who were also sleeping with me. I would 
set them up and lead them into the hands of some bad boys who would eventually kidnap them and demand a ransom. And that's how the business grew bigger. When I was 21, I relocated to Ireland where I met Valletta, who was a street cleaner. I initiated Valletta into the business and taught her how to scout for bad boys to join the gang without releasing her identity. Valletta initiated Mr. Simon, Rex's father. I mean, the wrong heavens. He was in prison now. Mr. Simon initiated another gang member, and that's how the chain continued. I, I became the supreme commander, but none of the gang members knew my identity, except the letter whom I initiated. And that's how we've been operating for the past 12 years. Hmm. Quite interesting. Amazing. Vivian, so tell me, how did you end up marrying the son of that same man who was in prison in your name? Was that deliberate or a coincidence? Tell me. It was deliberate. His father's assets had been seized and his houses demolished. I thought that was the best way to compensate the family. <sighs> this is good to hear. Did you in any way make an attempt to bring Mr. Simon out of prison. Did you? No. That was the best cover for me. Because the police thought he was the real heavens. So there was no surveillance on me anymore. So, are you not telling the whole world now that you are the real face behind Harvey's the Bologna kidnapper. Are you? Yes. And I regret all that I've done. <sighs> Amazing. Now, over to you, Valita. How come you decided to expose your gun, knowing fully where the consequences by the law? How could you? I need to say this last secret. Like I said earlier, the secret is not finished. But I need to finish it. Now, I'm free my soul. Simon was my boyfriend. Rex is my son. Rex was taken away from me when, when he was just two years because I was caught with another man. I couldn't stand the sight of my son living like a slave in his own house and his father serving a sentence because of a mistaken identity. Why the real face of the crime was around. Freely. I'm sorry. But this is just the last third. 
I'm not regretting anything. I have to put a stop to it. And the only way was to blow the undercover. To make the world know that the man seven is not the real face of the heavens. I'm not regretting anything. I just want to free my soul. Even if I'm going down for my mistakes, shouldn't be with my son. Viva, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Temptation is this one now, eh? I'm not going to go to my own. I tell her that this thing is not intentional. Why would I start explaining it? Huh? Only ask her for help. Can go tell her one more. Please, I have to call you back. I am actually praying right now, please. Uh, uh, just hold on. Is it even good that you are praying so that you can forgive me? What are you talking about? I am praying. I'm, I'm a spirit. Uh, 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 it's not intentional. Though. I just sinned against you and God. You sinned? Well, pray for God to forgive you. I am peaceful. Yeah, I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. It's devil's workshop. I didn't plan it. Uh, Biko, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, just, just hold the bank card, eh? I'm not going to go more. I'm not going to go more. I only asked her to help me with some money so that I'll buy drugs for my our daughter now. And when I left her, I just committed that adultery with somebody. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You did what? What is all this now? I thought they said if you confess your sin, they will forgive you. Is this one now forgiveness? Look at what I've cost myself and my marriage. Wonders shall never end. Women! Women! No. Yeah, that ah. My mother, what's up? This already the What's up? 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 For all these years. Yeah. You know what's in the surprise? The way she organized the gang. Eh? 
No police. No police fit arrest As no police fit arrest her. Hey! Just your system. They even talk say she traveled to London to study about telecom engineering for her to be getting information about all, all those billionaires in the country hey. on how to kidnap them. Don't, don't, women, women, women. Women. Now this is my mouth. Oh, I'm not going to go after that. Madam, calm down. I'm not going to go after that. I'm not going to go after that. I'm not going to go after that. Congratulations, ma, on your new post. <laughs> Thank you. You're ma, I finished working on the Mepax file. You might want to go through it before I can die to the points of department. Yes, I actually need to. Thank you. for hours. Why? But that was because I had to freshen up from work. Okay. Sit. Fred, so you are blackmailing me with my nude videos. Everything that I have done for you. You know, I am trying my hardest to believe that we are here to negotiate and not for this question and answer segment. Sasha, you will give me five million. If not, by God, I will come against you with everything I have against you. I will destroy you. I am going to ruin you. And here's the best part I will make sure you lose your position as the chief marketing manager in your film. How about that? For goodness sake, Fred, I never charged you for all the straffing that I gave you in this world. Brother, I was the one who paid you. Yes. We had good sex, great sex. And you paid me like you said. Come on, I am a businessman. And now the more you drag this matter, the more angry I get. And the more angry I get, the higher the ransom. Now you are going to pay me 5.5 million naira. Excuse you. Okay, fine. What happens when you get the money? Bah! That's the voice of wisdom. Pay the money and we will not be having this conversation. <laughs> Come on now, tell me. Do you miss me? <laughs>
So we are going to toast for a successful day. Yeah. bro. <laughs> so we toast to one more money in our account. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> So, what else? Um, first of all, let me thank all of you for the job well done. Yeah, we have a total of 10.5 million accounts. And at this point in time, we're going back to our channel formula, which is 70 percent Wow. Meanwhile, you're living here with your 30%. But before then, it's a job. <laughs> we there. Who oh, went ten? Yeah, it's funny. Man, I never knew you had such level of criminal intelligence. My uh, brother, my brother. <laughs> oh, but it brings sense out of a man. I don't think this uh, wine is uh, that strong. Uh, let's mix it up. No, I, I prefer the cola. Okay, fine. Okay. But before then, um, bartender. <laughs> shall we go to the? Shall we go to the deal? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good to go. Uh, we've made money. My dear wife, the mother of my daughter, she has been dearly for her sins. And I'm happy. <laughs> oh, and then, uh, so she's lying. Oh, and then. Uh, <laughs> If you want, just answer me now.
Um, anyways, I'm here to see your sister. I'm sorry, she doesn't want to see you. <laughs> it seems you don't get it. I said, I want to see your sister. I'll tell her you came to inform her that you've gotten another driver's job. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> but you see, this is my problem with Nigerian youths. Let me tell you something. Table is turning on daily basis, and my own table has turned. And um, by the special grace of God, I am now a millionaire. And your sister is such a nice person. And um, I cannot forget her in a hurry. Just call her, let me, I have good news to share with her. Good news? You, Owe, what good news? The good news is not meant for you. Okay, wait a minute. She'll be in a minute. Ah, okay. That's good. Um, no, 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 don't bother yourself. Let me be in my car. Oh, you can sit inside the shop. I'm fine. I'm full here. Okay. What drink will I offer you? Don't bother yourself. I'm fine. Okay. Um, truth be told, Sasha, you never wanted us to live with you in your two apartments. All you wanted was to <laughs> lavish your money with your promiscuous lifestyle. And good news, I am comfortable. I now have a house, living comfortable with my daughter. And you know what? I am now the manager of one of the biggest transport firms in town. So, go and never come. I am done with you and nothing will make me come back to you. I am done. that you just said inside. I'm sorry. That was just it. I do understand what you said. But are you by any chance trying to tell me that I am HIV positive? Yeah, sadly. In the course of running your malaria tests and other tests, you just came up with it. I'm so sorry to bring this sad news to you. <laughs> Doctor, I... I think there's a mixture somewhere. Are you assuming or you're telling me? Because I, I need to understand. Am I seriously, actually, perpetually an HIV patient? I wish I was as you. I really wish.
I want to make you happy. Yeah. I want to see you smile.